Once a month, Sarah and her family take on the town for a girl's day out. But while she loves spending time with them, spending money is another issue. We're trying to show her that it's good to spend money. You don't have to hold it and save it all the time. $78? What? You can afford it, girl. I can't. I'm sorry. Listen, enough, enough. Y'all don't understand. I've been going through this with her for too long. My family wants me to live a little. You make money, spend it. Yeah, yada, yada. Sarah's 23 years old, and she's stuck in a box, a box of cheapness. Say yes. Say it. Say yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'll buy it. You're a business owner. You have money. I understand And it's time for you to grow up. I love Sarah, and I want her to change because she cannot live a good life being so extremely cheap. But while she may have had the last word in the clothing boutique, Sarah's family has devised a plan that's sure to make her part with her money. Tonight's the night. We're finally going to teach Sarah a lesson. Hello. Hi. How are you, lady? Hi. How are you? How are you? Sarah, do not know it yet, but she will pick up tonight's bill. T-bone steak. I have um, hot water and lemonade. Have hot water. Oh, yes, of course. How much is that? It's a fridge, a hot piece of water. That's what I like. Hot water. Okay. Sarah only spends $250 a year dining out, 90% less than most Americans. When I go to the restaurants, I often have my instant foods. Can you please warm up this rice for me? What Sarah does, she brings her own microwavable rice. I am so sorry about that. That was very strange. No, I'm never asked me the good ride before. Wow. Thank you. Your rice. Ridiculous. Looking good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Now this is what you call a meal. No. That's what you call a diet. Yeah. <laughs> you can say tonight will be lesson learned. We're finally putting our foot down and getting rid of this cheapskateness once and for all. Oh. This is a check. Oh. I guess oh, you'll take you that, that too. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. No, thank you, honey. <laughs> Y'all want me out of your mind. $210? What did y'all eat? Now it's time to pay. You have the money, so stop being so cheap. Can't talk this down to $10. <laughs> Waiter. I don't know what they think they were doing by having that type of test for me. I can't pay this. Is there anything else I can do, like maybe come back and perform for you guys um, or something like that in order to fix this? I really need you. Please, please, just help me out here. No, I'm sorry. Help me out here. I'll wash dishes. I'll mop the floor. What do you need? I'm sorry. Sarah, pay the bill. <laughs> If we force Sarah to pay this bill tonight, I'm pretty confident that she's not gonna get up and leave because she loves her family. Okay. Paying that bill was really rough. I never even thought that I would swipe my card for such a large amount of money. I am so proud of her. She made that first step. Yes, finally. And then I heard you, you sir, tonight. I learned to never eat out with you guys again. Sarah will be able to change her cheapskate ways because she'll have to. We won't settle for nothing less. Thank you for dinner. <laughs> My sister tried to tell Even when I'm 70 years old, I'll still be a cheapskate. <laughs>